Hello, everybody. I have the shortest talk of the day where I will give you few pointers on how to make your applications portable and cloud agnostic uh, uh, on the cloud. So there are different ways to split applications across clouds. For example, if you have a hybrid cloud setup that is composed of your private data center and a public cloud, for example, you might split your applications based on the different tiers. You can have the backend on-prem and the front-end on the cloud, or you can slice them based on the maintenance needs, have the legacy on-prem uh, and do the greenfield development on the cloud. It can be based on criticality or data sensitivity or operational concerns such as uh, whether it requires uh, burstable capacity or steady capacity, whether it's a uh, uh, you know, business as usual operational mode or disaster recovery mode. If you have a multi-cloud, right, that is using uh, multiple public clouds, you might slice your application workloads based on cloud uh, strengths and cost, right? You may pick a cloud if it has a good offering in analytics, another cloud for compute, or you might run the workloads on parallel clouds. Really, the point is you, as a developer, may have to run, uh, create applications that has to run on more than one cloud. Not only that, these applications can be in different languages, and you also want to run on the most important cloud, that's your local developer machine. And how can you do that? I suggest look into a few areas. The first thing is look into the compute portability. So you may have applications of different granularity, like functions, microservices, different types of monolith, and you can run them locally, right? And you can run them on specific uh, clouds. But from uh, portability and cl cloud agnostic point of view, your best options here are to pick containers that are with uh, open container initiative spec or Kubernetes that will give you the best portability. These applications also need to interact over request reply, right? For that, you need service discovery, you need uh, security, you need resiliency, and you can use various uh, libraries. Here, I pick a few from the Java ecosystem, right? If you go with that approach, there are not many cloud services that give you, uh, that can back up these uh, libraries. And in terms of portability, there are not many common standards, right? The best options are from the security uh, space with OIDC and O2. Now, there is another approach, and here you can use sidecars. For example, you can use a service mesh or something like Dapper, and most cloud services will give you a service mesh as a service based on Envoy, and that can be your portability layer. Um, in terms of observability, there is a clear winner here. It's the open telemetry, the project and the protocol, which gives you the best portability, and most cloud services provide um, support for that. Now, moving forward, your applications, they might be also using you know, asynchronous interaction, whether that's based on uh, traditional messaging or some kind of message queues, right? Um, if you're looking for portability here, or cloud agnosticism, language agnosticism, the best options are maybe to pick a protocol such as MQP, which is language agnostic, or Dapper pops up API, which can abstract various uh, message brokers. Or maybe you're doing event streaming, right? Here the best, uh, the most popular option is a, a Kafka. Whether that is you know, Apache Kafka or different implementation, you can find the Kafka on different clouds or cloud services that provide you a compatibility with a Kafka protocol. And in some cases, if you're doing event streaming, you want these events to be delivered to your application in a push format. So if you have a Lambda or some kind of function and you want event to be delivered, you need an event bus. Event bus, in addition to advanced filtering, routing, it can also push the events to your application. And while every cloud has an event bus, right, if you want something that is uh, portable or your application not to be tied to that event bus, you can use Knative eventing for that purpose or Dapper pops up. They both will deliver events to your application in a cloud events uh, format. Uh, moving on, I would also consider here something like a change data capture and outbox pattern. Really, that's the ability to stream changes from data sources to your application. That's becoming a quite popular way of connecting applications. And almost on every cloud, you can find the data stores that can event, uh, emit events. 
but these events typically have you know different format, different semantics. If you want something that works consistently across different clouds, the options are the Debezium project, which is change data capture, or something like Dapper that can emit uh, events uh, consistently. Um, moving forward uh, quickly, there are different type of data stores, right, that are good for different purposes. For example, relational data stores uh, is good for transactional processing, key value store for fast access to data, document store for a search of structured data, object store for large files. Um, and every cloud has uh, offerings around those, but the ones that are probably most uh, portable and, uh, and cloud agnostic are Postgres, where you can find most uh, implementation of relational databases that are compatible with the Postgres protocol. Even AWS S3 as an API, you can find compatibility with that API across uh, other clouds and Redis and MongoDB respectively in their fields. And lastly, what about synchronous interactions? So you, if you want to schedule a task that runs periodically, for example, there are different um, projects and cloud services. The common thing about uh, around them is that they all use cron as a syntax, right? Uh, and for orchestration of service interactions, um, you need something like a workflow engine where you can implement a saga pattern. While there are many implementations uh, available you know, in Java, in, in other languages, and cloud services, there is not a common standard uh, that is portable and that's a de facto standard. Uh, JVPM was such a spec in the past, but it's been never targeting developers, so that's not an option here as well. Um, to, to, to sum up, really, if you want portability, right, you should pick a cloud agnostic and a, a protocol API that's a de facto standard. And here, containers, Kubernetes, and open telemetry are great examples of what can be uh, done. In other areas, projects such as Dapper, Kafka, um, Cloud Events, you know, Postgres, and others are example becoming de facto standards. And there is not a good option um, for a workflow engine that's a standard today. And really think that it's not only portability of an application, right? It's also portability of your skills when you change languages, when you change teams, you can carry with you. Uh, that's all. Thank you.